Hi, Tim from Single Key here with a brief video on how to make your life easier using our safe and secure automated rent collection. When you log into your online portal, you'll see a section called Rent Collection. This is where you can get started. It'll allow you to create your first rent collection if you don't have any, or see all of the rent collections that you've created if you have created some in the past. It'll also answer all of your frequently asked questions. For instance, we do offer three free monthly rent collections where there is no charge to the tenant or the landlord. If you want to get started, simply click on the Get Started button and we'll ask you some basic information about the property and the tenant. You have the choice of choosing from an existing property or entering a new one. I'm going to choose an existing property. We'll also ask you other information like the amount of rent and the terms of the lease agreement. At this point, you can either select an existing tenant that you've already screened with us or enter new tenant information. I'm going to select an existing tenant. At this point, we'll ask you to link your banking information. There's two ways to do this. You can either use a secure login that's much the same as what the Canada Revenue Agency does to directly link your bank account, or you can upload a copy of a void check and enter your banking information. I'm going to link my bank account using some fake information. At this point, my bank account is now linked, and we'll be asked to verify some contact details for you. At this point, we've sent the tenant an email with instructions about how to link their bank account that will look like this. They also will have the option of securely linking their bank account directly or manually entering their information. After the tenant has responded, your rent guarantee is set and your money will come in every month as scheduled via electronic funds transfer. If you ever need to modify a payment, you can click on the Modify Next Payment. You can either skip a payment or delay it. For instance, if a tenant has worked out a way to pay you outside of the electronic funds transfer, you may want to skip a payment. Or if they tell you that the funds won't be in their account on a specific day, you can delay things for a couple of days to make sure that they have the funds when we withdraw them. That's it. It's as simple as that to make sure you never miss a rent payment again. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.